this is the toxic os on the redmi note 3 and this one is the 15th august 2018 build if you have noticed already the rounded corners looks pretty dope isn't it you will either like it or hate it but in my opinion it does look dope as you can see even if you like watch a video or something it will be the same let me just show you so even if you like play a video in full screen it will show you these rounded corners if you have noticed looks pretty dope in my opinion because no other rom has this much rounded corners by default and you can adjust this from the customizations panel even on havoc os there is a little bit of corners but this is like a little bit more with the phone's rounded bezels and with the screen rounded corners looks pretty awesome this is the quick settings panel and it does have these colors over here as you can see the accent color is set to blue so the quick toggles which are on looks blue in color and over here you can just edit and add some more stuff nightlight is working fine as you can see you can disable heads up too and in hotspot we have we don't have the 5 gigahertz option we only have the 2.4 gigahertz let me just go into settings system and about phone over here to see the android versions and stuff we will have to go to the os information but over here as you can see it shows the toxic logo up here inside os information we see the model is redmi note 3 of course and version 3 toxic os version android version 8.1 the build date is august 15 2018 and the security patch of august 2018 too and it has this logo stuff The stock kernel version over here as you can see is Xcrema kernel. I'll show you the battery life and stuff later but let me just show you this now. We have system UI tuner over here from here you can enable icons like headset and stuff. Now let me just go to gestures there is like nothing extra. Display settings over here you will have the auto brightness. Tap to wake is there so double tap to wake does work fine and this ROM has the double tap to sleep from the status bar and double tap to wake is working too as you can see and what else for the customizations well you have to go like you can go to the customizations right from here from this icon if you tap on it as you can see here we have the status bar the recents lock screen system and about so from here we can go to quick settings so you can customize the quick settings panel but we don't have the status bar brightness adjuster i guess battery style you can set big dotted circle and stuff though it's not written over here let me just keep the phone silent you can change the battery percentage position clock and date you can change the clock and date like customization as you can see the clock is present over here on the middle so it's centered you can choose it to right or left or you can just hide it you can enable seconds if you want to as you can see it shows the seconds over here and inside carrier label we have the carrier label customizations normal stuff status bar notification ticker is there network traffic is there if you want to use that in misc we have the toxic logo option and double tap to sleep on the status bar option so in recents we have the clear all button and inside recent apps well let me just show you this as you can see the recents panel does look like totally rounded stuff and it looks cool in my opinion at least as you can see it does look like cards literally and we have the clear all button over here you can customize the clear all button position and stuff from here so yeah it does look cool and recent layout from here you can change it to grid or android go style view which is pretty dope and let's go to lock screen now we have the clock style inside the lock screen and as you can see we have these many clock option you can just set it to toxic and let me just show you this so if i just enable this as you can see the clock style looks dope uh, so yeah you can do these type of customizations and inside system we have color manager 
from here as you can see we have the show transparency option and stuff and what else you can change the ui color to light dark black toxic and hazard and it was a ui normal color and for the accent colors we have like these separated options for blue indigo oceanic blue bright sky etc green pink purple lot of options over here you will get and what else inside buttons we have the navigation button customizations you can enable like customize these long press action for home menu or back key i just did like this as you can see it took, takes the screenshot you can like play have playback control from here and you can set backlight timeout too if you wanna do that let me just go back we have font picker from here we have lot of fonts option as you can see so you can enable any whichever you like so yeah fonts option is there which is pretty cool and battery charging light is there so notification LED is working fine misc well we have some cool stuff over here android p style animation and you can change the rounded corners from here of the screen as you can see and we have the all over the ui background tint option which i enabled manually later on because it was disabled and looked ugly i mean this tint kind of thing everything was showing white so i didn't like it much so yeah that's it and what else let me just go to restart as you can see if you just go into restart it shows like this a warning kind of thing which is pretty cool in my opinion like any stock rom so yeah and what, let me just show you some things i don't think that there is like power button customizations let me just check again uh, system buttons As you can see, I, did, I could not find the power menu customizations, I mean the advanced reboot and stuff. Let me just check if it's present in system UI. Nope, it's not there. I couldn't find it. I don't know why. I couldn't find it. So there is like you no know, this status bar brightness control feature and some other features are missing. And in terms of battery life, well, it's not great, I would say, but it does give decent battery life which is pretty average as you can see i got like one hour 20 minutes of screen on time with like 72 percent battery left so which is pretty average in my opinion it will get you decent battery life but as the device is like three years old and the battery itself is also three years old so we can't expect more from this one and here is the fingerprint scanner speed let me just show you One thing that I have noticed is that banking apps like Google this is simply not working on this ROM without flashing magisk. So yeah, that's a disappointment I guess. And if you want like these apps working and if you want like all over the UI Android P kind of stuff which is not present on this toxic OS, you can definitely flash Havoc OS which is awesome in my opinion. If you want a video on that ROM, like if you want the latest build video of that ROM, let me know in the comments down below, I'll be making it too. So yeah, that's that and in terms of like RAM management, this ROM is doing great in my opinion. Let me just show you, app opener speeds are fine. As you can see all the apps are like in memory and working super fine so yeah ram management is not an issue in this rom but i have shown all the issues to you so you decide that if you will like it or not wi-fi faulty fingerprint scanner everything is working fine and in terms of camera i have been using gc mod 5 with this rom which is working super fine i have flashed micro g apps by the way with this rom and that's working super fine so yeah i think the sound on this rom is pretty low so that's how it is the rom is smooth enough for daily driving if you want to flash it you can flash it and if you want to like if you love the rounded corners and stuff you should definitely try it once you will decide after that you will like it or not so yeah that's pretty much it that's pretty much what i had to say for this rom 
hit the thumbs up button if you liked it subscribe to our channel if you have not yet this is Tito from KD Intake signing off for today and I'll catch you guys in the next one bye bye now